Let's go to Barry Terry here this morning. It's August, Tuesday, 21st, 2018. I'm drinking my juice this morning. And um, I'm here with Superfit Sarah. Hello. And she's my videographer today. And she's got some questions. We're going to do a mini question and answer session uh, for y'all. Come here, Molly. Come here. Molly's excited. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's wrong? What's wrong? What you barking at? Um, our videos are raw. We don't edit them or we're not trying to be glitzy or anything like that. But I like to be real and raw. So go ahead, Sarah. You got questions for me? Yes, I have a few questions that I think a lot of people would like to know the answers to. I'm going to start with a really simple one that you can tell us a little bit of the science behind it and a little bit of why you think it is, you know, your opinion as well. Why or how is it proven meat should not be in our diet anywhere? Well, it's not beneficial for us because of many reasons. The main reason is if we were not designed physically to eat it. Um, and then there's, you know, the vegan side of it, the cruelty to animals. Um, are we taking on their pain and their DNA, their trauma of going through that? Um, you know, there's a, a lot, a lot into that question. And I suggest some books about it. There are many. My go-to favorite one is David Wolf's book, Sun Food Diet Success System, and he goes into it a bit. Next question. Why is juicing the best for the digestive system? Well, you're getting your concentrated nutrients and enzymes and biophotons that feed us on a cellular level in a concentrated amount, and it's going to cleanse out your pipes and your colon and your lymphatic system and it's getting it's the density of the nutrients that you're getting in your body quickly so there there are many reasons and there's lots of information out there on the internet and books about juicing i've read many dr gabriel cousins uh well back in the day jack lane was a phenomenal juicer one of the beginnings and wigmore with the uh, Hippocrates Institute. She's my godmother of wheatgrass, and she teaches, uh, well, her institute teaches people how to cure cancer, all kinds of things, with just, you know, juicing and eating raw. Next question. What is your most liked juice and why? Oh, gosh. Probably, I would have to say watermelon because it's the most balanced. Um, however, uh, you can overdo watermelon, as you found out. It's got a high sugar content, but it also has, if you juice the rind and the seeds, you're getting your oils and you're getting your chlorophyll, your greens. And, you know, the balance, the triangle balance in Dr. Uh, you know, David Wolf's book is your 33% chlorophyll or greens, 33% sugar, and 30% fats, 30% fats. So, you're getting your fats, your sugar, and your oil. But you can overdo watermelon juice because you do get a lot of energy because it's very high content um, you know, for energy. Yeah. Anyway, next question. My last and final question for you, which I think a lot of people would uh, agree and like the fact that I'm asking you about it, is what do you find is a good juice for depression? Oh, good question. I have the answer to that right here because... This is my go-to, it's kind of my second Bible, second uh, go-to book. I have quite a few others that I like as well, um, and with more, and uh, a lot. I'm a reader. I'm what a book is it? Um, it's um, the Sun Food Success, uh, the Sun Food Diet Success System by David Wolf. Okay, so for depression, he says, to break about a depression, eat one or more trays of berries in the morning for breakfast, daily for five to six weeks. Eat them on an empty stomach and avoid other foods until noon, lunchtime. Berries are an incredibly balanced food and their moderate sugar content does not jar the nerves. Spells of depression are often associated with moments of low blood sugar and poor food choices. 
eat mildly sweet fruits such as berries throughout the day to keep the blood sugar up. If one is too sensitive to sugar or fruit, one can eat combinations of seeds, pumpkin, hemp, or grape, and vegetables to maintain energy without stimulating the body with sugars. Avoid dried fruit binging. Complex carbohydrates and baked potatoes, french fries, breads, cakes, cookies, etc. And alcohol, as these can cause erratic blood sugar fluctuations. Consuming three to 600 milligrams of algae oil, which is DHA, could also be helpful in nourishing neurological tissue. Vitamin B12 is helpful for depression as well. I do the B12 patches from the Rothman World. Um, I buy them directly online and I wear those. Or there's a little spray sometimes I'll buy if I'm in a pinch that I like for B12. Also, um, berries. Berries are incredible. Now, juicing berries gets expensive. So what I do is I have a friend that has a blueberry farm and certain times of the year I can go down there and pick bushels of blueberries. I have a video on, on my blueberry picking and I juice blueberries like crazy and oh my gosh, talk about elevating mood. It's, it's just wonderful. It's off the chain. And I notice my nerves, you know, um, I don't have, it's not too much sugar. Watermelon juice, you get a lot of sugar. But I like that, and I love watermelon juice, especially you get more bang for your buck, because watermelon, I can get sometimes, shoot, five gallons out of the Texas watermelon of juice. So it's my morning time juice for biking and hiking. Okay, any other questions for me, Sarah? No, I think you answered all my questions pretty well. Do you have any suggestions on a good starter book for um, the people who are just wanting to kind of figure out how to start transitioning or things that are good to uh, know? Well, um, Wendy Rudall wrote uh, Raw Transition. That's one of my favorites and one of the first ones I read. And Wigmore, um, her, all of her books I read back in the day. Back, uh, when I was in school. So any of those to get started. Uh, Dr. Norman Walker, Become Younger, um, Silence and Diets, he has some great books. Uh, there's, gosh, there's tons of information out there. And just take what, what resonates in you. And sometimes I read books two or three times because I'll miss things. So I go back and really read it and highlight and underline and make notes. That helps as well. And for all the curious cats that are wondering what these two machines are sitting here, what do you got cooking in these right here, Mom? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm dehydrating some uh, nori nachos. Seaweed's really loaded in vitamins. These will break up and make some really great chips and snacks. It's got a nacho chili cheese sauce that you made. And I'm so proud of you. You're learning all this stuff. I have some... Um, this is eggplant. I marinated. They'll make great little chips. I've also got some more nori nachos, more eggplant, some beets. I marinated beets. I marinated these in a shogu sauce and a coconut amino sauce with some garlic and onion and stuff. They'll be yummy. And some mushrooms. They get really small when you dehydrate them. And that's about it. And this is the cheapy dehydrator I started out with and I recommend uh, that if you're on a budget, you can get a Nesco through Walmart and get started, and you can do all kinds of things with it. This is a uh, Excalibur. It's a 14 tray, no nine tray. Yeah, nine tray. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, and it does a lot more. You can make breads and crackers easier with the Excalibur. But anyway, we're running out of time, so for time's sake, let's wrap it up. And what do you say? Have the best day ever. And if you do a juice solid food vacation, I did 80 days, you're in for a treat and a surprise. A treat, as John Rose would say, and a surprise, surprise, as Bill McCollum would say. Y'all have a wonderful time, and namaste, shalom, satnam, peace.